Hey, 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 it's the Dolphin Let's Get Inky and it's time for a flip. I am so excited I finished my second uh, insert for this Travels Notebook and I think that's all this is going to be able to house. I'm going to have to have a look at my collection of other uh, TNs to see which one I'm going to use next. But I thought I would give you a flip of my most recent insert. The first one is on YouTube already. I'll put the links down below. Um, so there is a chatty version of this and a music only quicker version as well. And I'll do the same for this next one. So if you're interested in a quicker uh, music version, have a look on my channel. They'll be uploaded at the same time as this video. Uh, and I'll put the link in the description as well. So I'm going to pop that one to the side. Uh, this cover is an older one from Jane Davenport. And then these little, uh, what do they call, what do they call, little embellishy things. I'm sure they have a proper name that is escaping my, my mind at the moment. Uh, I won these in a giveaway, so I'm not sure where they came from, but they're, they're just really cute and clip on and I thought they went uh, with the colours. And I usually have these in the elastics, but I pulled them out so they'd be easier to flip through. Now in my last journal with me video, I covered, hey, there's a spot missing. I'm going to have to put something, a sticker over the top of that. Uh, in my last video, you would have seen me cover the front of this. Let's see if we can just quickly find a sticker. No, it's too small. Uh, I finished the cover of this and I really love the way that it turned out, but I need to cover it with contact ASAP. Um, because the stickers are especially on this side part here you can see they're lifting up so I managed to get to the shops uh, when I did my most recent grocery once a week well not even that I'm probably going to the shops maybe once every 10 days or so uh, and I was able to get some clear contact so I will cover that uh, later on but the insert that I use is the 003 from the Travelers Company and I need to do something on this front page. I haven't, I, d I don't know what I'm doing there yet. So this will come later. I, I wanted to do the flip through because I know that this is something that might not get done for like a year's time until I'm doing my next insert as well. Uh, so we'll start off and there will be journal with me videos for, I would say at least half of these pages uh, here on my YouTube channel. There are some that I have completed on Patreon uh, as well. So if I recognize one from YouTube, I will let you know, but I will put all of the journal with me's from this insert uh, links to them in the description below. And I might, I really need to go through and sort the playlists on my channel. I will do that one day. It's another thing in the to-do list. So this is the first page and I was looking back at the first page and the last page and what was different and similar and something that I did a lot of at the start and I especially did a lot of in um, this insert. This is my favourite page I've ever done. I don't know what it is about it but I just, I absolutely love it. Um, but something that I noticed that I did at the start was I had smaller writing and I would also include a lot of ephemera. So we went to an art gallery and this is a picture of my favorite, one of my favorite artworks of all time. I absolutely love this piece. It's by uh, John Olson, who is a brilliant artist and I desperately want his book, um, but it's way too expensive with all pictures, colorful pictures of his artworks in it. Um, but this is a piece that I have loved forever since I was in high school and we used to go on excursions to the uh, New South Wales Art Gallery in Sydney. And so I bought a postcard of it and I popped it in here, but I also included like the front of a brochure uh, that from the gallery as well as this little spiel about the artwork. And that's not something that I was doing in the final, here's the final page. You can see my writing's bigger and I don't include as much ephemera anymore. So it's interesting to go through and see what things I prefer. Um, so I think I'm going to try and use more ephemera pieces um, in my stuff again. So here is another piece um, and then smaller photos I was still using but 
smaller writing. I think I need to try a different pen. This was, I think the pen I was using here was the Stadler Pigment Liner uh, in a 0 0.3 or a 0 0.5, whereas towards the end I was using my beloved Pilot G2 in the 0 0.7 uh, size. So I might go back and give that other pen a bit of a try. And then this is a process video, I know that for sure. Um, I did a photo of my Nana holding me and looking at that photo, it looks so much like Violet. It looks so much like Violet, oh my gosh. Um, and then um, a couple of photos of her holding out. So this is 2017. Um, that's when these are from. Oh, and I've got a little, oh, look at that, a little flippy flap. I didn't know that was there. Uh, I also don't do this as often anymore, which I would like to get back um, into. But yeah, I just like my smaller writing and I use a lot more magazine pictures uh, as well. So we're in 2017. Of course, Violet is nowhere near being born. Uh, so don't expect to see any photos of her here. Um, but I also seem to use a lot more smaller photos, whereas I feel like towards the end I used bigger, like multiple 3x4 photos. Um, you can see on this spread I've only got one tiny photo. This was stuff sent to me um, and I used them all on the, the one page, which I really enjoyed. Yeah, I used a lot of magazine images. And I do miss this this kind of style. It's amazing how in just, you know, how many pages would this be? I don't know. 50? No. I don't know. S several lots. Uh, how different your, your style can kind of change a little bit. It hasn't changed dramatically, but I can, I can notice a difference. <laughs> uh, I do love using my... Tombow dual brush markers. They are my favourites for my traveller's notebook. I also loved the Stadler brush markers as well um, and then outlining them. I don't know what it is about outlining. I just I really enjoyed um, the the look and the boldness that it, it has when you add the, the outline to it. Uh, this I think was a Coco Vanilla blog and these were all from the Legendary collection and then this is a photo of Aaron, his two brothers and his poor stepdad all doing stacks on as they call it. And I've got a bit of fluff stuck there. Uh, but they recreated this, if you watched the, there's a process video where they recreated this photo. Um, I'll see if I can find it and insert a little picture here. But uh, it, was, it was a very funny experience. <laughs> and then moving on using, I think this might have been a citrus twist one. They look like citrus twist goodies. And a few bits of crepe paper things. If there's anything that you see that you want more information on, uh, do let me know. Talking all about our, our animals and how much... Archie loves them. I think this book will be really nice to look back on because it's more so about uh, stories. I don't think I, I say this now and don't hold it against me in years to come, but I don't think I will ever be able to give up Project Life completely. Uh, I love the chronological aspect to Project Life and um, I I don't think I'll be able to give that up, but I really like picking a particular story to tell and um, telling it in my my traveller's notebooks. That's that's kind of what I use these for, more to tell specific stories about either an event like this, this was his first, um, Archie's first flight, or it might be like this one. Where was it about the animals? Where was it? No? Keep missing it, this one. Uh, so this was, these photos were taken, you know, months and months and months apart, but they all come together to tell the same story. So that's what I use my traveler's notebooks for. Uh, if you have a traveler's notebook, what do you use it for? I, I just enjoy it as being another, another form of paper crafting that I can 
kind of do a bit more with my hands. I'm a very hand person. I love drawing and I love um, fonts and writing and I feel like I can't always do it as much in uh, my Project Life albums. This is another reason why I like it. I love this page too. This is a process video. I think this is one of my most viewed journal with me videos about when we went to Melbourne. Did I say that that was his first flight? Have I got that wrong? Oh no, that is his first flight. They're a couple of months apart. <laughs> and the photos here aren't chronological. They kind of jump all over the place um, a little bit using some of my inky printables here. Um, and this one, this would have been a Patreon process video. And I know there's process videos for most of these coming up, I think. Um, talking about my mum and dad's wedding and then a picture of our wedding as well. <laughs> Christmas 2017, I think. No, no, he was a baby then. This is Christmas 2018. We've jumped ahead. And yeah, just it's a nice way to use up little bits and pieces, especially ephemera, because I find that I have so much ephemera floating around. I'm about to completely redo how I organize my ephemera. It's just, it's a big job, but I'm putting it off procrastinating quite a lot. <laughs> but yeah, it's a great way to use up little bits and pieces um, that I've got floating around. These are some inky printables uh, and also things that I've been saving up to use for the perfect page like this bunny I was saving on uh, a crepe paper sticker sheet for ages and I finally just bit the bullet and made a page about the bunnies <laughs> I love this page too some of my scrappy girls so there's there's a lot packed into this little insert I do forget sometimes how long it has taken me to complete this one because uh, I kind of go through stages where I I'm really in a journaly mood and so I'll do you know four journal pages within a month uh, and then there's times where there's months and months that go by when I don't pick it up uh, and I appreciate the journal my traveler's notebook for that reason that I can pick it up um, and I can put it down when I want whereas with project life I feel like it's a continuous thing that I need to um, stay on top of. Um, these are some more inky Patreon printables, all these bits and pieces. And so are these. Um, I love to use those in here. So these photos are taken years and years apart but I wanted to do a, um, a whole layout about being together for 12 years. And then Another one. I must have been feeling very lovey-dovey at this point because <laughs> I've got two lovey-dovey ones in a row. And then the final page, Archie in the bath. So that's the end of this insert and I have started the next one. So like I said, the previous, these two inserts were the uh, Traveller's Company 0.03 ones, which I really love. The, the paper is nice and forgiving so you can see there is a bit of I I can, there is a bit of ghosting with the pen and of course you can see where the stickers um, and where the things are stuck but it didn't bleed through which I really liked uh, the new insert that I'm using that you'll see coming up next week in some videos uh, is this one and I think this was sent to me by a subscriber it could be a Webster's Pages or maybe I think it might be Webster's Pages um, but I have started that and done a few pages that you will be seeing over the next several weeks. I'm pretty sure there's a journal with me video every week in the Inky June Marathon if my scheduling has gone accordingly to my written calendar that I've got <laughs> out next to me. Um, but I love this journal and it's something that I'm going to keep going. I have filled up one other insert. Um, this is a, in a cover from Freckled Fawn which I love and um, this insert I filmed uh, just over on Patreon and this was uh, my travel one and this insert is from I think it's called the stamp spot did I get that? it's on the back here um, the stamp spot yes www.thestampspot.net.au 
and these were kindly um, sent to me and I like it because there's pockets in them as well so I have done this insert um, but this is just over on my uh, patreon and this insert was very chunky it came out nice and thick uh, these ones are pretty thick they're pretty thick but not explodingly I really need to contact this ASAP all right guys I hope you enjoyed that flip through and it's given you some inspiration to pick up your journal I'd love to hear if you do have a traveler's notebook what you use it for uh, if you use it regularly or if you like me and you kind of go in little bursts of getting enthused about it and then maybe forget about it for other projects uh, and I will see you tomorrow with a new video over on Inky Quill bye